I'm pregnant with my husband's child, while my sister is also pregnant with my husband's children. Original post. I, 29 female, and my husband, 32 male, Joel, have been married for six years. We were together for three before that. We don't have any children, but I'd say for the most part, we have had a healthy relationship. Me and my sister Amy, 35 female, have never been that close. I have tried many times in the past few years to get closer and form a relationship with her, but she always seems distant. I first noticed the longing looks between them a few years ago. I never thought too much of it, since they were pretty good friends with similar interests. He told me he always considered her to be his own blood sister, and I thought that was good. Late November to early December, they were acting normal. No longing looks, no nothing, just normal in-laws at a family gathering. The next week, I noticed they were warming up to each other. Amy was sitting closer to Joel, following him around almost, and always laughing at his jokes, which she didn't usually do. I didn't think much of it, but then I saw the physical contact. How his hand would gently guide her back whenever they moved to a different talking spot. How when they sat down, his hand would go on her thigh. How her body would always be in his direction, facing towards him. The next week, they acted as if neither of them existed. When I tried to talk to her, she wouldn't be able to look me in the eye, would use any excuse to get away from me. Her and Joel would always be at the opposite ends of the room if they were forced to be in the same one. I didn't think it was too weird until I started to piece everything together. Joel's temper with me was shorter. We hadn't been intimate in a month. He started refusing to see our therapist as well, saying we didn't need to. I was lost. Christmas was when I hit my breaking point. They were acting like everything was normal again, with a few guilty looks between them. I did all I could to ignore it. I have a history of overthinking, and I genuinely thought I was just being crazy. She left the gathering pretty early, claiming she didn't feel good, and Joel was obsessively checking his phone for the rest of the night, and he was obviously very worried. When we got home, he said he was going to shower. I saw that he left his phone on a couch, and I just couldn't restrain myself and I went through it. I didn't find anything until I opened Snapchat. I thought it was weird for someone our age to have that app, so my curiosity spiked. I saw her icon that mildly looked like her and her name Amy Hart next to it. My stomach dropped and I opened a chat. She had only sent one message. All it said was, at the hospital, going to get results soon. I'll update you when I can. I miss you. I'm still confused and hurt. I don't know what this means. Am I a horrible wife for going behind his back? But I don't know why he was updating him or why her name has a heart next to it. Thanks for letting me vent. Any advice would be greatly appreciated. Now for the top advice before reading the updates. She's probably pregnant, and it's probably his. Since you guys don't have kids, I would say divorce would be the easiest option. Something shady is going on. Or possibly miscarriage. This. Also, have a serious talk with them. After you screenshot everything you can from their conversations, or screen record it, and send it to yourself and delete that from his phone and explain what you saw. Confront him and say you were willing to listen, but if you find out he lied, you will divorce him no questions asked. You can still divorce him after. You know there was something inappropriate and secretly going, but instead of saying anything or confronting them, you just watched. Why don't you just ask them or other members of your family? She either has cancer or pregnant. More than likely, she's pregnant with his child. I have tried to bring it up to him, but he always shuts it down quickly saying I'm just overthinking again. That's him deflecting attention away from the situation. A normal concerned partner would have tried to comfort you and ease your concerns. You're going to need to shop around for lawyers. He can't be married to one sister and having a baby with another. You should have taken a picture of their chat too, and whatever messages they have between them. Now for the first update. Sorry for the wait. My husband got back from work a few hours ago. When he got back, I told him everything. The body language I've noticed, the message, my suspicions. I came clean. I wanted to thank everyone for supporting me and helping me open my eyes. I'm so grateful for the advice and support I've gotten. Yes, my sister is pregnant with my husband's child. It doesn't feel real. I don't think it's actually sunken yet. They have been having an affair for longer than I even thought. Amy left early to go get tested. She had taken a test the week before and it was positive. But Joel wouldn't believe her until she got one done by a doctor. Joel and Amy first slept together three years ago. She was still with her then-husband, but they were going through a tough spot in their relationship. She went to him for comfort, and they slept together. My husband slept with my damn sister. Apparently, it was only supposed to be a one-time thing, 
but it went on for a few months after that, until Joel felt too guilty and shut it down fully. Halfway through last year, the affair started up again. I guess being divorced made her miss having a husband, that my husband was the closest thing she could get to fill that hole. Me and Joel had been trying for a baby during then, but with no success. He told me he was getting depressed due to that, and Amy was a big support for him during that time. Because, God forbid, you find support in the person you married. They got close again and started sleeping together again. I didn't ask to hear more. I don't think I want to know more than I already know. I would have never thought my husband would cheat. I really thought he was the exception. He was always so sweet and loving. So romantic. I feel so betrayed right now. I don't know what my plan is. My husband has a brother he isn't too close to who's a lawyer. We've always gotten along well though, so I might go to him and ask for advice. Joel begged for my forgiveness, but I didn't feel much. I cried a lot, and now we're on a couch together watching TV as I write this. Amy doesn't know I know. I don't think I want her to know I know until I have a plan. Joel told me he will try and push for termination. It's up to her ultimately, I guess, but I don't think I could stand to see her have my husband's child. Thanks for letting me see I'm not crazy. I was so hoping it wasn't going to be this. I am so sorry, Opie. Give yourself some grace to grieve, but get a lawyer and get your ducks in a row. This man is playing you, and I'm willing to bet they both plan to keep the baby and are trying to find a way to make it okay with others around them, or she would have already had it terminated. No one does this for three years to someone they supposedly love. Three years of consciously not caring about a person he's been with for nearly a decade, each time he made a choice to sleep with her, and your POS sister who made the same choice. Makes it even worse that it was a second extended time, that's an especially vulnerable time for you. Doesn't matter that you weren't close to her, though I'm sure that's how they both justified it. It takes a super special type of vileness in both of these people to think this is okay. I am so angry on your behalf. You deserve better. Love yourself more. Best wishes for healing and peace as you go through this process. This really opened my eyes. Thank you. I can't believe this is actually happening right now. Girl, I know you're shocked right now, but I have to say this. You can't go to the brother. You need someone outside of this damn family. You're sitting next to him on a couch? Like nothing has happened? I don't understand. Please get out. He's sleeping with your sister. Four years. And she's pregnant. She's in love with him. She told him she misses him, so she's not giving up this child. Get out of the house, OB. I'll call my mom to ask if I can stay at my parents' place for a bit tomorrow while I sort everything out. Thank you. Yes, time away with him or your sister. I hope she doesn't show up there. We'll be good for you. You seem like a sweet girl and this isn't fair. They're both garbage people to do this to you or to anyone for that matter. Unfortunately, the biggest betrayers in life are the people closest to you. This isn't your fault. Now for the second update. About two months ago, I discovered my husband had been cheating on me with my sister. He told me they were pregnant with twins and begged for my forgiveness. He spoiled me with gifts, offered to buy me an apartment, a new car, whatever I wanted. He said if she goes through with a pregnancy, that he will have no part in it, that he would only be a father to the child I mother. Up until last month, I was ready to divorce him. I was ready to start a new life without him and my sister in it. I thought my missed periods were just due to stress until I felt my period symptoms. But with no period in sight, I took a pregnancy test. When I told him, he was ecstatic. He said it was a fresh start for us, that we can move on and focus on our child. He's already bought most of the stuff we need for the nursery. He's been looking at doulas and midwives in case I want a natural home birth and different hospitals in and out of state, seeing which one would be best for me if I decide not to. I can't afford a child on my own as he's been there for me financially since I was 20. I've never had to struggle on my own. I never went to college because I would never need to work with him in my life. I didn't even consider the possibility of him not in my life because I was so stupidly in love and arrogant. I got everything I wanted. I had a perfect family and a perfect husband, a perfect house and a perfect life. We had fertility issues and trying to conceive was a struggle. My pregnancy was supposed to be a blessing, but instead I'm wondering why now? Why after all this? I've yearned for this for years and now it's happening and I don't even know how I'm going to be able to put a roof over my baby's head if I leave him. Any advice would be greatly appreciated. Edit. My pregnancy is high risk. I'll need lots of medical support during and after birth. And neither me nor my parents can afford that. Abortion is also illegal in my state. I'm aware there are ways. But to me, it's not worth it. 
So if everyone could stop telling me to just get rid of it and leave, I would appreciate that. Joel's only promising me things on the terms I don't divorce him. So legally, I'm not sure if I can take the apartment and medical care as offered and divorce him. But I have a meeting with a lawyer tomorrow to get a better understanding of what I can and can't do. I'm 14 weeks along. I definitely would not be able to get a divorce before my birth. And I don't want to be in between places with a newborn whilst recovering from birth. Hope that helps everyone understand my position and that my situation isn't as easy as just cut contact with them. Thanks. If he can betray you by sleeping with your sister, nothing is stopping him from finding an affair partner not within your family. As if he's actually cutting off things with a sister. My money is on. He's telling them both they'll be supported and will probably continue to cheat with randos and make more babies because that's what those types of dudes do. This isn't going to end well. Your children will be sibling cousins. I can only imagine what family get-togethers are going to be like. Husband will probably cheat on both of them with their mom. Edit 2. This is getting out of hand. So here's my plan so people stop calling me derogatory terms for not divorcing him immediately. I am planning to divorce him, but my pregnancy is very high risk. So I will need lots of extra medical support with his pregnancy. And that is something I just cannot afford by myself at the stage of my pregnancy. Joel is willing to pay all my bills, but only if I stay with him. I want to wait until I'm more stable before I initiate anything. I'll get a job once I've recovered from my birth and after I've saved enough for an apartment in my own name, as I refuse to let him buy me an apartment, because I don't want him to have anything to hold over my head. Then I want to divorce. I'll likely get good support for me and my baby. I've been looking into financial abuse. I think that is the situation I am in. I am not in love with my husband. I am not staying with him thinking we can recover from this. But I'm staying for now because I can't afford to not have his financial support. As for my sister, I haven't talked to her since everything went down. And I never plan to again. I'm not sure if her ex-husband knows the situation. And I'm not sure how to contact him to make sure he does know. He's a great person. And I hope he isn't going to get mixed up into this mess. I feel bad for the twins too. It wasn't my decision to make Joel no contact with them. I tried to urge him out of it telling him it's cruel. But he kept saying that he would only father a child I bore. I really did try to make him see how cruel it was. But he started to scare me so I stopped trying to convince him. It's completely out of my control. As much as I hate them and my sister, I know it's not their fault. I love my niece and nephew. And I'm sure I'd love the twins just as much. I'm sad I won't be able to see them. But that's just the way things go. If you think I'm a bad person for using Joel to my financial advantage, I really don't care. And I've already heard all the insults and names, so do not waste your energy calling me them. He shouldn't have had an affair with my sister for three years on and off. That's all for now. I'll update if anything comes up. Thank you for all the good advice I've received. Edit 3. A person on here brought a post to my attention that could very well be my husband. I am not sure if it is him. It could be a friend of ours. But it is not a troll, as they know my name, my husband's name and my sister's name. I've been staying with my parents for the past two nights, so I have not been able to talk to him besides texting or calling. I'll try to confront him as soon as my dad gets back with the car. Edit 4. It's been deleted. My dad still isn't back and I need a nap. I will post an update tomorrow after I talk to him. Third update. Joe will did post about his side to Reddit. I went over our house this morning to talk. But he had to get to work. He got home one hour ago, and I've since talked to him. He said he thinks he's getting treated unfairly, so he made a post. Luckily, it got taken down by the mods for sharing personal information before many people saw it. I feel violated to have him talk about his affair so publicly. He didn't even bother to use fake names, and now whoever saw that post knows my true name. He let me read the original post he wrote. He had to shorten it by a lot for Reddit, apparently. But he explained to me the reason why he doesn't believe he is the father of Amy's children. And that's why he doesn't plan to be a father. It does make sense. And I feel kind of silly for not seeing that before. But I guess I was so wrapped up in everything. We've decided to start a plan for divorce. As I said, we won't be able to finalize one before I give birth. So we plan to wait a bit so we don't have to deal with the stress with a newborn. For now, he's offered to rent me an apartment for the time being but says I'm always welcome, and our house will always belong to me, just as much as it does to him. Baby's doing well, no kicking or anything, but I'm excited to experience that for the first time soon. Joel has told Amy to get a paternity test, and that he won't agree to anything, until he has proof he's the father. I won't be able to reply much the next few days. I want to sort everything out. 
but thank you to everyone for all the support and love. In his post, how did he justify having an affair with your sister? Because try as I might, I can't come up with a way he could spin the story that would make him look good. Couldn't you repost this version after you remove all the personal information? I really just want to see how his mind works because it's boggling mine. I wish you joy with your baby. Babies are the best. My little sister just sent me another video of her toddler trying to imitate his father on the drums, and it's beyond cute. To sum it up, he said he was very drunk and depressed last year, that he thought he would have sobered up and turned around on a drive there but he never did. And three years ago, she kissed him. He tried to cut contact with her but didn't tell me. And then a week later, apparently, she threatened to tell me that they had been having an affair. So he maintained his friendship with her and ended up sleeping together three times before she got back together with her husband and ended it. Claimed he was blackmailed. I don't know if I believe that. I read your husband's post yesterday before it got removed, although at the time I didn't know it was your husband that made a post. He wrote, He found comfort in your sister and grew fond of her that you were more loved by your parents. He drove to her house with one intention only when he knew she was alone, and her kids were with her dad that night. He refers to her by her nickname in the post. This man wasn't blackmailed or fooled by anyone. He could have put a stop to the text messages and phone calls right at the beginning if he wanted. Don't let him gaslight you into believing that he was blackmailed. If the house belongs as much to you as to him, then he can move into the apartment he's planning on renting. You deserve the house. Joel, if you are reading this, give her the house. Sign it over to her. It's the least you could do for cheating on her with her sister. Also, see a therapist. Opie, you deserve good things. Hope well for you and baby.